unfortunately not the result we would have wanted again, but look, a valiant effort for probably three and a half quarters today before just a few things, good running team in the cannons and some other factors got away from us in the last quarter. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think the quick debrief I've had with the boys so far is that I still felt that there were some issues in our game in the third quarter. I thought neither side at that stage had really maximised the use of the wind. And I thought there was an opportunity in the third quarter to maximise use of the wind. I think we were within a point at half time. Mm. We had a perhaps got out perhaps 15, 18 points, something like that. I thought would have put a lot of pressure on the cannons and given us a chance because of how well we were playing into the wind in the second quarter. I thought it would have given us a chance to uh, win the game. So. Yeah, it was tight for long periods. Before that last quarter, it was a game where there was it was a series of counter punches. It seemed the team would get two or three goals out, and then the other one would pull them back in. Yeah, little bit of overuse with the ball from both teams as well, but in the end, also some really good passages of play. Yeah, yeah, I, I think the, the overuse might have come in, Sean, because you have to adapt because of the wind. Mm. Um, if you think you can can play into the wind the same that you can play with it, well, then you're wrong. Uh, and I thought, to the credit, both sides played really good brands of footy into the win. I thought our second quarter uh, into the win was very, very good. High number of marks, hit our targets well, got ourselves a chance to score and defended well. So, um, yeah, it, 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 was a, it was a game of footy that, as I said to you, I thought it was open for a team to really maximise the use of the win in the third quarter, and we didn't do that. It was an interesting game as well, as you said, second quarter, got a bit physical and it was it was interesting to see how our boys responded to it and they responded quite well. Yeah, I'd like to think so, yeah. Straight after the game, it's hard to know really. I'll go through the vision of the game and have a good look at it. But yeah, one of the things as a coach, try and teach your boys to be able to handle a variety of different settings. Um, if the opposition's challenging you with their run, how you manage that. If they're challenging you verbally, how you manage that. They're challenging you physically, how you manage that. It's just a part of being able to prepare a player to play in a variety of settings. And I suppose the pleasing thing is we worked on a few things during the week and mm. highlighted some things at training on both Tuesday and Thursday, and I thought we then put them into play today as well. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was pleased with that particular response, which is what probably the re one of the reasons why I thought we were well in the game at three quarter time. Um, and gave ourselves a chance. You know, we had to do a lot right in the last quarter, and it turned out that we just couldn't quite do enough right. But I was pleased that the group was able to a absorb the lessons from the defeat the week before, uh, b then train and and use the week as a chance to to get better. And I agree with you, Sean. I thought there was some elements of our game. I think we went inside the 50 again, more than the opposition. Uh, we've been doing that now in the last couple of weeks. So you, you know, to be able to go inside your forward 50 more than the opposition means that you are doing a lot right. One more game to go now, four more quarters of footy, up against the Bendigo Pioneers here mm. at Mars Stadium next week. Are you going to take a different approach into the game at all and see it obviously being the last game of the year, talk about it as being a grand final for us or anything like that? Uh, well, what I've, what I've did, uh, prior to this week was to say, well, we now had eight quarters of footy to go, um, two games, eight quarters. What I said to the boys that I wanted to play really well on a quarter by quarter basis. Well, as I said to them in the post game just quickly then, four quarters now has gone out of that, so there's four quarters to go. Now, I think the theme will be, Sean, more around, well, how do we want to finish the year? Well, we've got four quarters in front of us. That's what we can control, rather than be sort of reviewing what it would look like. I want actually to set the agenda ourselves. And yes, it is the last time the group of 2017 have played together, so it is a grand final in a lot of ways. But I don't think it's any different than what we did today and tried to maximise the moment, make the moment, finish this season really well. Well, Coach, one more week to go of reviewing, obviously, getting things right for next Saturday and then one more Coach's Corner after this one as well. Good luck for the preparations this week and again on Saturday. Good on you, Sean. No worries.